Greetings, viewers, dear viewers of the internet and the, the great realm of YouTube. It is I, once more. Um, we have 6,000 subscribers on the channel, give or take a few. Um, which is a heck of a lot. And the annoying thing is right now, I don't actually kind of have any time to do anything special. Um, which is a bit of a shame, so I don't have time to record a big Q&A or... You know anything like that at the minute, but I still felt like doing something, just because it's nice to leave a little milestone behind that you can kind of look back on later on. You know, so I got thinking, and I thought maybe I should do something just vaguely related to the number six thousand. And uh, somewhere in the recesses of my memory, I remembered that during the Middle Ages, uh, there was a war called the Hundred Years War, which was fought between England and France in the 15th century. Well, I think it actually started in the 14th century and ended in the 15th century, but anyway. Um, and it wasn't actually a hundred years long either, it's a bit of a misnomer. But anyway, during this war, there was a battle. And that battle was called the Battle of Agincourt, because it was fought in a field near the town of Agincourt in France. And at that battle, the English fought the French, and during, in in that in that battle, in the 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 English army reportedly consisted of up to about six thousand men. So I figured, well, there you go. You've got the Battle of Agincourt, and just as it happens, the Battle of Agincourt happens to be one of my favourite levels in Medieval Two Total War, and actually, it's one of my favourite levels in a game full stop of all time. Um, and so I figured. <laughs> Tenuous a connection as this might be, why not do it for the 6,000 subscriber special? You know, I mean, especially since there won't actually be 6,000 men in this battle because this is an old Total War game and therefore it's all scaled down. But, um, you know, screw that. I just, whatever. Um, it's one of my favourite levels from a video game ever, and I just figured, well, why not have an excuse to show it? So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Single player. Uh, historical battle. Battle of Agincourt. Here we are. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I said, my favorite, one of my favorite levels. I used to have, I used to have the demo for this game for like almost a year before I ever actually bought it properly, because uh, I didn't have a really have a good enough computer to justify buying the damn thing. But on the part, a part of the demo was the Battle of Agincourt, this historical battle, and I must have played this battle just. Dozens and dozens and dozens of times. I just never got bored of it, you know. Um, I mean, I've been to Agincourt in real life. I've been to the the field in question, um, because you can go there as a tiny little, very modest, sort of humble little museum in the town of Agincourt itself um, about the battle um, and stuff like that. And you know, I've actually been to the site of the battle. It's not very exciting, in all fairness. There's nothing to see there other than just grass and trees. But you know, I've been there. So, um, you know, it's it's a fascinating battle in terms of real world history as well. Um, so anyway, here we are. It took place in 1415 in northern France. And uh, here we go. By the time of... By, I'll read this out, because why the hell not? It's there to be read, after all. By the time Henry V ascended to the English throne, England had lost a considerable share of the French lands it once held. On the 13th of August, 1415, Henry and his army landed at and besieged the point of Har the port, sorry, of Harfleur, which surrendered on the 22nd of September. The siege took longer than expected, so Henry launched a raiding expedition across northern France on his way to the English-held port of Calais, where he would be able to resupply and rest his weary army over winter. Henry's army was sick, tired, and hungry. Luckily, Henry was an astute and capable military commander, and his men were experienced and disciplined, in contrast to the undisciplined French army. Henry, knowing waiting would only decimate his army through hunger and disease, was determined to provoke the French out of any possible waiting game. The French leaders expected Henry to surrender, while many of the younger French nobles hoped to do battle with the English men at arms, intent on ignoring the English archers they deemed beneath them so that they could reap glory and riches through ransoming noble captives from what they believed would be a one-sided battle. Henry V and his beleaguered force must clear their way to Calais by destroying the French army and mass against them. Henry's survival is essential. And it's not kidding, if Henry dies in this battle, it's game over, so... 
Here we are. Battle of Agincourt. This is our army. And as you can see, it's a bit one-sided, really. <laughs> We've got gold experience upgrades for all our troops, as well as weapon and armor upgrades. The poor old Frenchies only have bronze, and they only are slightly outnumber us. Um, it's not going to end well for him. In all fairness, it's, it's not. Uh, this is not a difficult battle at all. It might be one of my favourite levels from a video game, but it's definitely not one of the hardest I ever remember playing. So, you know. I mean, it's worth pointing out that this, this game is not one of my favourite Total War games by any stretch of the imagination. It's just this one particular level has, ever since I played it years ago, it's always stuck out in my mind uh, as being one of my favourites I've ever played. So, there you go. I'll play an intro cutscene now, so I'll shut up. I'll be quiet. 1415, Northern France. The Hundred Years' War continues. After spending the autumn months campaigning in Northern France, Henry V, King of England, is making his way home. But first, he must contend with a large army awaiting him near the town of Agincourt. The French army, led by Jean Le Mangre and Charles d'Albert, is more a collection of arrogant nobles than an army, distracted by their own bitter rivalries. While the English army is a disciplined force, led by King Henry, a shrewd commander and an inspiring presence. As the sun rises on the 25th of October, Henry moves his weary and hungry men into position, knowing they are largely outnumbered. Heavy rainfall overnight has left the newly ploughed field separating the two forces a sodden, muddy mess. The French forces awake and take a leisurely breakfast, happy to wait and let disease and hunger grind down Henry's army. Knowing this only too well, Henry moves his army forward, hoping to provoke the French into rash action. Henry's gamble is successful. Lines of unprepared French knights and nobles push and shove amongst themselves, eager to engage their English counterparts. Henry's longbowmen will be the key to defeating the French, striking them down as they traverse the muddy field. To protect his longbowmen from cavalry, Henry has ordered them to plant sharpened stakes in front of their positions. To emerge victorious, Henry must survive the upcoming battle and destroy or rout the French army before him. Only then can he make his way home. And there you have it, folks. Here we are, Agincourt. Pretty faithfully re re reimagined, Here actually. They come. In uh, in this game, in all fairness, uh, this is pretty much what the battle was like, from what I remember reading about it in books and stuff. Even down to the little wooden stakes in the ground, you know, that was totally a thing. You know. It was famously a thing that they did. Here come the Frenchies. Charging headlong at us. Here we go. Probably going to lose a few guys in this charge. But... No, the charge was a spectacular failure. And, yeah, no. Wow. Wow. So this isn't a very hard level, and the main reason for that being that this was, historically, a absolute massacre. The French were completely and utterly eviscerated, destroyed, and, you know, just generally um, eradicated from the field of battle. Um, almost embarrassingly badly did the French lose this battle. Uh, so, if it... it, it Quite literally, that we could probably just sit here and not touch a damn thing in this battle, and we'd probably still win it. So, hey, never mind. I love it. I kind of wish the rest of the game was like this, but it's not. It's a bit dull, really, by comparison. I never really liked Medieval Two Total War a terrible amount. I pre honestly preferred the original Medieval Total War. 
I believe at some point a troop of French knights is going to try and come around and hit us from behind, so I need to watch out for that. But anyway, here we are, 6,000 subscribers arrayed for battle. Um, except it's not technically 6,000, as I said, but it's close enough. Um, They're sending another wave of hapless fools at us. Hold the line. Yes, hapless fools. Uh, ooh, yep. Um, yeah, 6,000 subscribers. That's that's quite a milestone, really. Attack. Grief. I mean, it's funny, really. I mean, because I've obviously been doing this now, this whole Let's Play malarkey for, you know, quite a while, really. I think about it. It must be almost two years now, something like that. Oh. Uh, you, God. Yeah, get back there. Um, almost, almost, two, almost two years, I think. I'm not entirely certain of that, but if you know, it's been quite a long time, and you know, it's strange because it just it doesn't really feel like I've been doing it that long. I mean, I'm sure plenty of people think I'm really good at this whole let's play thing, and you know, it's fair enough. And I'm not going to argue with you, am I? But um, yeah, I still feel like I'm very new at this, really. Strange, almost, I guess. Still feel like a total let's playing noob at the end of the day. I mean, I've learned lots since I started this, you know. Learned a heck of a lot, actually, about just, you know, computers in general and, you know, how making videos and using video programs like codecs and encoding and compressing and converting. And... Ah, yes, that's the that's a little ambush I was talking about there. Oh, good lord! There's more of these French dogs on their way. For Saint George! Indeed. Oh wait, there's another bunch of them over there. Damn them! I'm sure King Henry is safe. Do not want him dying. I think we should be okay over here. We've got the Billman and the dismounted knights on the task. Speaking of, some more Billmen. So yeah, it's, it's, it feels strange. It feels strange watching those numbers tick by at the top of my channel page sometimes. You know, I mean, this channel's growing pretty fast, I think, really. Alarmingly so, from my perspective, quite honestly. Um, but, well, you know, I don't put a great deal of stock in the number of subscribers you get, you know. At the end of the day, it kind of doesn't matter a great deal, but also, from a practical standpoint, even... Oh, there we go, Charles Dalbert is... Dead. So they're running away. Insert joke about French and surrendering here. Um, I will go on, Henry. Get stuck in. You're probably safe. We could probably send these yeoman archers into melee if we really wanted to, actually. Without um, too much trouble. Because they're not bad at melee. Historically, during this battle, and particularly as the battle was drawing to a close, the the longbowmen actually drew their little sledgehammers and warhammers and axes and things like that, and hatchets, and charged into the remaining French infantry and just cut them to pieces. Um, it was not a very ni nice battle, it has to be said. But immediately after the battle as well, the longbowmen, the commoners essentially, they went around the battlefield looking for all these French knights who'd been knocked off their horses uh, who were lying there pretty much helpless and immobile in all their armour and they would just wander around from down French knight to French knight and they would just bash their skulls in with a hatchet or whatever and uh, take their valuables. Pretty grisly business really. It was a massacre in just about every sense of the word. Where's the king? He's doing all right. You spineless women, yeah. Speaking of spineless women, let's go and I've done it again, haven't I? I always end up accidentally muting the sound in Total War games because of the stupid keyboard setup. Kill them! But yeah, no, it's quite a milestone. It's quite a milestone, as I said, and. Uh, yeah, we've come a long way, really. Even if it doesn't feel like we've come a long way. 
I, kind of, I suppose looking back on reflection, I've not done as much as I would have liked to have done by this point, really. I mean, I've been quite slow in my Let's Plays in terms of, like, making them and stuff like that. I mean, sure, I've got just over a hundred videos of, say, Oblivion. And I've got about a hundred or so of more Oblivion, but other than that, a lot of my other Let's Plays are very short, you know? I suppose that doesn't really matter at the end of the day anyway. There we go. The battle is over. Yeah, according to the game, we only deployed one the sixth of what was really <laughs> what was really there during the real battle. But you know, whatever. It's an oldish game now, I suppose. Really, and there were limitations at the time. But there you go. That was the Battle of Agincourt. One of my favourite levels, really. I don't know really why. I could, like I said, I couldn't really tell you honestly why I really like it. I just sort of do. Maybe because it's quite easy that I like it, actually. That I can just sort of sit back and enjoy the carnage, essentially. You know. And it happens to be about one of my favourite battles in military history anyway, so, you know. But anyway, it's been a bit of a brief subscriber special, really. But, um, you know, I just wanted to take a moment to kind of mark a good old milestone, plonk it down next to the road we're sort of travelling on, metaphorically speaking. And, you know, just say thanks, really, to everyone who's supported me this far, really. Um, certainly when I started out this, I didn't think it was going to go anywhere, honestly, really at all. I just thought I'd end up making maybe 10, 15 videos and that'd be it. But yet, here we are. And, uh, it seems quite a lot of you have suffered along with me. Really? So, uh, kudos for, um, <laughs> kudos for, you know, putting up with me for so long, I guess. And, um, well, look at them run. <laughs> I wish I could close this menu so I could get a better look. <laughs> Who are these longbowmen chasing? I <laughs> must be running after this lot over here. Uh... Yes, it's quite the route, isn't it? Well, anyway, that was the Battle of Agincourt. That was 6,000 or so subscribers. Which is ridiculous. Which is pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, for once and for all, let me just say a very, very big hearty thank you to everybody. You know? Thank you. I mean, I say at the end of almost every video I managed to remember to do it in, thank you for watching. You know, and I absolutely mean it. You know, it's not just a kind of... A convenient little buzz phrase I can say at the end of my videos. I genuinely mean it, you know, I mean, it's it's kind of a great compliment in a way that someone will take like 10, 15 or even 15 or even 30 minutes, you know, out of their day to could just watch you play a game and waffle into a microphone about stuff, you know. It is quite flattering really at the end of the day that people would do that, you know, so, you know, yeah, thank you for watching, you know. And obviously, since I've become partnered and stuff like that, this does pay a few bills here and there, you know. The uh, financial situation up at mill at the minute isn't great, to be honest. Um, and, you know, every little does help. I mean, I don't consider this a real job at all. You know, it's still very much just a hobby, both in terms of the fact that, you know, uh, the amount of time I spend on it and also... The very bluntly the amount of money that comes out of it, you know, and I think that's for the best really, honestly. Um, I wouldn't want this to, on reflection, become a job like it is for some, you know, people on YouTube, because um, that would probably suck out a lot of the things I really do enjoy about it, chief, chief among which being able to work at my own kind of pace, that I sort of set for myself. It's like being self-employed in a way, just very, it's just way more lazy, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching, everyone, and I'll see you again damn soon. Bye.